cash prizes like peasants. Guess, oh, gonna be the death of us. The Prime Minister said he was going to force gas companies to give everyone the lowest tariff. <laughs> Let me bury my face in your cleavage to keep my ears warm. Yes! Uh. Now is the now winter of our discontent. You don't see my thermal underwear, it's brass monkeys out here. Yes! Uh. Keep me warm is impossible. Who frees every one of us? No heat for none of us. They raise it time and again, every man and woman, every child just cries and gas. There's a cold blast coming in from the north. What do you mean, winter's approaching? Raise all the tariffs. Put the prices up. Send out windows. Now! Guess. Oh! The bills are right. Just a man who's on a low income drive. So hard to keep my, my body warm. Here won't be long to not see the rich pay their bills. Oh no. I think my balls have just dropped off. Yes! Good evening, you're watching The Hughes at 10 with me, the gorgeous Hugh Edwards. Why? Because I'm worth it. Environmental protesters have blocked the M25, causing long queues and delays for drivers rushing to the long queues and delays at petrol stations. The protest brought the M25 to a complete standstill, but it was several hours before anybody noticed. In a speech to the United Nations on climate change, Prime Minister Boris Johnson joked that Kermit the Frog was wrong when he sang, It's not easy being green. Activists say the climate change threat has been trivialised by the involvement of a leading character from The Muppet Show, or as it's otherwise known, the British government. Work and Pensions Minister Theresa Coffey has advised families affected by universal credit to just claim a few more expenses to make up the difference. Friends, we are gathered here to mourn the passing of Sir Clive Sinclair, inventor of the ZX Spectrum, and of course, a titan of British computer gaming. Sir Clive lived a long life, 81 years, just marginally longer than it takes to load Manic Minor. He was always there for us, through the highs like Frogger and the lows like that EastEnders game. Ooh. Sir Clive gave us laughter, he gave us hearts full of hope, he gave us repetitive motion injury from winding the tapes back up with a pencil. He will be fondly remembered by those closest to him. Monty the Mole and Jet Set Willy, for example. After a fruitful life, Sir Clive has chuckied his last egg. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Good evening, I'm Colin Brazer, officially now taking over from Andrew Neil. Sorry, I'm just being informed by my producer that actually the last empathetic viewer has actually just turned off. Oh well. <laughs> Never mind, eh? Well, that's it then. Might as well admit it. It's been a complete failure. A mitigated disaster. I think we just get out while the going's good, while our dignity's intact, what's left of it. Well, that's it for me, Colin Brazer, and us. 
Uh, if you want to comment on this, feel free. Just, I don't know, head over to Jim Davidson's channel. I'm sure he'll be happy to have you. <laughs> Good night. Hi everybody, it's me, Uncle Joe. <laughs> Not the Russian guy. Uh, Biden to you. President Biden. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> but you know, times like this, I have my little fireside chats with you guys and I get to reminiscing. And I think back to the old days and when I was a youngster. <laughs> I remember my old pappy saying to me, Hey Joe, says my name. I said, Yes, Pop, get in here. I said, what have I done, Pop? He said, well, Joe, I've got to ask you something, and I want you to be honest. I said, sure thing, Pop. Did you chop down our cherry tree? And I said, Father, I, <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. I did. But it was the tree's fault for not fighting back. <laughs> you know what he said? He <laughs> said, one day, Joe, you're going to make a fine president. Hmm. Hmm. 28-year-old Megan Swan has become the youngest and first female president of the Magic Circle, but she's refused to reveal how she did it. Maki Kaji, the Japanese puzzles publisher known as the godfather of Sudoku, has died at 69, leaving The Undertaker to figure out which box to put him in. <laughs> Abattoirs, butchers and meat processors are set to employ prisoners and ex-inmates to help out with shortages. In trials, customers said they tasted a bit like chicken. <laughs> We have clear evidence and thousands of witnesses that you just allowed these people to die. Oh, 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 oh look, uh, I, uh, ipso facto, uh, facto ipso, uh, Pepsi ipso, whatever, anyway, totally deny these claims, and as far as I'm concerned, the matter is closed. So, you flatly deny the manslaughter of 150,000 people in full view of the whole country. Uh, <laughs> For goodness sake, I'm, just, look, I, I'm the Prime Minister. I, I have the authority uh, to do what I like, when I like, and I, I can prove it. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, look, uh, how much more proof do you want? This appears to be a £20 million contract to supply body bags to the government. What's it got to do with the charges against you? Oh, well, uh, it's all yours, uh, if you want it. <laughs> well, I've got no experience in this sort of procurement. I wouldn't know where to start. Well, that's even better. Uh, right, uh, just, just saying that. Uh, here, here, here. And, uh, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Sorry to trouble you. Uh, my name go. Oh. <laughs> There's no drumsticks left for Nando's No chicken breast or thighs This Brexit deal just takes the piss No delivery for Nando's There's just no point in driving in a beaten up old car I just want to fill my time I'm sure they'll be here soon But there's a massive queue now they shut the doors of Nando's Because of Brexit there's no chance of their delivery There's no chicken sent to Nando's No chance to eat their chicken serving french fries on the side And I'm not ashamed to say I really just don't get quite how those chickens die there's no chicken on my plate tonight No chicken sent for Nando's Now we have to get our chicken fix From KFC, not Nando's So I know it might make me obese There's no regret 
I'll be back for both of food again. I love the food in Nando's. I'll be back for some fast food again. I love the food in Nando's. Hey there, you're watching Fox News with me, not Andrew Neal. Although everybody else has had a go at being him on Heebie Jeebies News in UK land, they might as well rename it Fox Beebies and get Prince Andrew on and be done with it. <laughs> anyway, I am actually an anchor, and this is the original Fox News News for the Heart of Thinking. So, with the good old US of A now in a naval alliance with Great England Shire and Australia land, we can now go live to Chad Valet, who's on an actual submarine. So where exactly are you, Chad? We are in the sea, and I'm told it's where submarines work best. And where's the submarine headed to, Chad? I don't know which city we're going to, Anne, but what I do know is it's going to be delivered to a guy called Sydney in Australia. And why is the submarine going there, Chad? It'll form part of a new global alliance between the UK, the US, and Australia, and which is not pleasing to our greatest enemy. China? No, France. China is miles away from the United States, and whereas the only thing between France and America is the UK, which makes them the nearest country to us with nuclear weapons. And don't the UK have nuclear weapons? Yeah, but we sold them those and they don't work. Oh, right, okay. So, uh, here's a question for you, Chad. Uh, when the submarine arrives at Australia, won't it be the wrong way up? No, and the captain's explained that before we get to Australia, he's going to flip the whole thing over so it's the right way up. <laughs> That's good to know, Chad. But what I really want to know is, why did the Australians break their alliance with France to get the submarines from us? These submarines don't just carry nuclear weapons, and They're powered by a nuclear engine. And of course, the big advantage for Australians of a nuclear engine over a normal engine is because you can't barbecue food on a normal engine. So now the Australian crew will get to eat their normal diet instead of the snails they get served on the French ones. In fact, you've joined us just as we're about to try and cook our first steak on the... Chad? Chad? Hey, Chad? Oh, uh, we seem to have lost our link there uh, before things got interesting. Oh well, <laughs> you've been watching Fox News. I'm an anchor. Hello, my loves. It's me, your Auntie Fox, with all your letters and conundrums. Now, here's our first letter. Dear Mrs. Vax, Oh, oh, I'm not married. <laughs> you can only get left at the altar so many times before you give up and start obsessing over David Icke. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Nikki Minaj has said that her cousin's friend became impotent and got swollen testicles from taking the vaccine. <gasps> I am scared what will happen to me, as fear of alien invasion has left me soft anyway. Now, Chris Whittier said she should be ashamed of her anti-vax tweets. But does she have a point? Yours concerned in Colford. Well, concerned. Firstly, I'm very flattered that Miss Minaj has been tweeting about me. <laughs> Normally, I'm against the global elite having access to Twitter, but in her case, I make an exception. Now, I don't think you need to be concerned about this being a side effect of the vaccine, as there are hundreds of others you should be really worried about. Now, the larger issue is that the government uses testicles as listening devices. Now, this is thanks to the Official Secrets Act of 1989. Now, everyone knows the old cough and squeeze at the doctors is just so they can check the microphone. Now, I hope that makes you feel better, sweetheart. Anyway, that'll have to do for now. So, we'll be back next time with another few letters for you. And meanwhile, I'm going to take all the other letters and then pulp them to make a hardboard cutout of that lovely David Icke. Oh! Anyway, bye for now, loves. Well, howdy, 
folks. Now, it seems that down here in Texas, our version of civilization is a bit too advanced for them there pink old liberals up in Washington who want to send us back down to the Dark Ages. Now, us Texans believe in the sanctity of life. Yeah! We believe in protecting the unborn child in the womb. But it sure do seem that their authoritarian commie Democrats don't see things that way. <laughs> Well, I say to them, not only will we defend our unborn Texas children, but they will defend themselves. The unborn have the right to live. The unborn have the right to vote. The unborn have the right to bear arms. <laughs> Arm the unborn! Arm the unborn! Give them guns! That's what I say. That'll make them damn pinko liberal abortionists understand what life is really all about. <laughs> it's the Texan way. Yeah! <laughs> oh, dang, I did it again. <laughs> I bet you never expected to see me again, especially not here. <laughs> well, you know, I'm starting to think that Uncle Joe isn't going to be such a bad president after all. In fact, I think he's shaping up really nicely. When I look at the skillful way he handled Afghanistan and that withdrawal, which is my idea, by the way, yeah, the sensitivity with which he handled the Haitian refugees at the Mexican border, another leaf out of the Trump playbook I think you'll find. And those dealings with those goddamn surrender monkeys, the French, who led us down in two world wars in Vietnam. You know, I can only sit back and admire. So kudos to you, Uncle Joe. I couldn't have done it better myself. So great. An attempt by Labour activists to pass a motion backing proportional representation has been defeated after only 62% of conference delegates voted for it. Entertainment now. And fans of Khloe Kardashian on social media have been disappointed to discover that what appeared to be a new tattoo on her body turned out just to be a plastic recycling kite mark. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer has claimed the government is not doing enough to tackle climate change. Sir Keir himself is busy changing the climate in the Labour Party with a policy of decarbonisation aimed at completely eradicating the party's Corbyn footprint before the next election. Travelling in a nuclear U-boat On the English Channel, that's where we float Print short on food Johnson is nervous And Joe Biden's forgotten his breakfast And they said Would you like a sub down under To cover up all the world's wonders We said Why not, it'd be good banter the Scots will swallow if it comes in better. Looks like trouble for the man in Brussels. Why? Putin's showing up his muscles. Joe Biden's just another trophy. The world needs savings. So cool and I'll see Do you need a land down under? Like you are more than I ever wonder Helping the darling nation You bet the ball, what a great nation Your career is threatened in a Monday There must be a usual Monday Your butt is how you trying to tip me Save it for later cause you can learn some rain Would you like to suck down on down To cover up all the Brexit blunder Such a mess, it makes you chunder the second day is the UK 